So we wanted to hop on to showcase what the process is for this side and then answer some commonly asked questions while doing so. Um, I think the first thing that most people want to know is the pain level. And for me, um, there's not really a number I can think of, but the first word that comes to mind is it's just a little spicy. So um, full, still fully comfortable, can absolutely make it through this treatment, no problem. Um, but I have a goal in mind, so that makes it a lot easier. I know how it's going to look at the end of this. So uh, like most of us know, beauty is pain. And this is just one of those things. <laughs> the next most common question that we get is what to expect it to look like after your first treatment. And anybody that's familiar with any type of cosmetic tattooing, brows is a great example. They always will tell you things are a little bit bold at first. Um, but not so much so that you can't go live life as usual. Um, just know that things are going to settle. This first kind of appointment is going to be a little bit darker than what it is going to heal like. Things are going to shrink and look much more natural. Last but not least, the question is, how often can we see each other? I know you guys are eager for results, but we always wait two weeks in between sessions just to prevent pigment migration and the dreaded helmet head look. So trust us that two weeks is optimal you will see at least a 30% increase in fullness each time we see each other, and that is only going to get better with our following treatments. Just know we have your best interests at heart, and we are looking out for number one, which is safety. Next up is how long should I plan on being there? And that's definitely something that we'll go over in your consultation. Everybody's a little bit different depending on how much we are covering. But something like this should be about 90 minutes, but it definitely can be up to two and a half hours. I like to put this out there because there is a little bit that goes into it. There are some tiny sacrifices that have to be made, um, but it's all worth it. So a um, couple key things is you cannot wash your hair for two to three days. We want to let that pigment soak in. We want to let it heal. We don't want to disrupt the healing process. So make sure you got a nice hat, some good sunscreen, because you're going to be hiding that head for a, just a brief minute. Um, also, in that time, we don't want any heavy sweating. So for my active gals out there, you got to take a little break. Again, promise it's worth it. Nothing with heavy activity, so our hot yoga or my cycle queens, brief break. And most importantly in our aftercare is to slap it, don't scratch it. Write it down, memorize it. It's key. So clean hands, if that scalp is feeling itchy, just a good old slap, slap, slap will do. I cut that out. <laughs> even that in. If you've got a partner that's mad at you, let them give you a little slap. <laughs> Let's talk about domestic violence. You're so close. I can't think of it. You're so close. I've lost it. Don't say the most important.